In this video, we'll look at whether HBr is a strong or weak acid. This is hydrobromic acid. So first off, we have this hydrogen in the front of the compound. That's a good indication that this will be an acid. There are a few ways to do this. The first way is just to memorize the strong acids and the strong bases. So these are the common strong acids and bases you'll see in general chemistry. Sometimes you'll see HClO3 on this list as well. So you could just memorize these and you'd see HBr is a strong acid. That's one way to do it. And I do recommend you memorize these. It'll make things a lot easier in chemistry. What that means when we say it's a strong acid is that when we put it in water, it'll fully dissociate. So all the H's in the HBr, and in this case, this is HCl, so these would be Br minus instead. All the hydrogens and all the bromine ions, they're dissociated completely. They're all broken apart. In a weak acid, like hydrofluoric acid, some of them have broken apart, but most of them are still bonded together. They're not dissociated. So the weak acid, partially dissociated, strong acid, they'll be fully dissociated. And for HBr, for the hydrobromic acid, it is a strong acid and all the ions, they'll fully dissociate. Another way we can look at the strength of an acid is look at what's called the pKa. So if we look at the pKa, we look this up on a table of pKa values, Hydrobromic acid is about negative 9. If this pKa value is less than 0, we're looking at a strong acid that will fully dissociate in water. So for HBr, we have a pKa of negative 9. That's certainly less than 0. It's going to be a strong acid. It's going to fully dissociate in water here. This is Dr. B answering the question whether HBr is a strong or weak acid. It's a strong acid. You could also say it's a strong electrolyte. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.